And in today's episode, I am going to talk about finally at the end of this financial year, how much returns did I make with respect to an ROI perspective, and how did I do it? What were my strategies in very brief terms? Now, please understand, this is there's no recommendation in this video. It's just strategies that I have used. I'll tell you what I've succeeded in, what I've failed in. Uh, so I'm going to talk both of that as well. And again, see, I have a higher threshold of risk appetite. So what I'm talking about today might not be applicable for everyone as well, right? So that is why I'm just keeping everything open. And let me just show you my entire PNL for this year, okay? So now this is the zero dollar console that we have right now. Uh, I'm going to PNL, doing current FY, and yeah, this is equity is fine. So if you look at equity, let me tell you what are the strategies that I've used in the equity market, right? Now in the equity, obviously you'll see my charges are 4.8 lakhs. My realized PNL is around 28.73. My unrealized is around 89 minus 89. This is some position that is still open right now. Net realized PNL, that is the amount that I have booked this year, is approximately 23.87. Now all of this is short-term capital gains. It is not long-term capital gains. Now when I do equity-based investing, what I usually employ is something called a swing trading. Now let me show you what I do in swing trading. Okay, so the, the, let me give you an example of a company called Zomato where I have done really well in the past. So if you look at swing trading with Zomato, I like usually finding companies that are like this. Okay, this is basically called an upward channel, uh, which is basically respecting the higher highs and respecting the higher lows. So when I see something which is in a positive momentum like this, now obviously this is in a momentum because the fundamentals also are supporting it. They have gone profitable. So fundamental is also looking good. Technical is also looking good. So this gives a lot of opportunity for you to buy towards the lower lows. Obviously it's not hit this lower low much. Right? But whenever it comes towards the lower end is something that I look at from a buying perspective. Right? Now again, this is not a recommendation. Right? Now it is at the higher end. So if it starts going back down here, then another swing can be taken up. The only problem with Zomato is even though it is in an upward moment right now, because the profitability and the future growth aspect and India's consumption theme playing out. The problem with Zomato is also that its PE is very weird because obviously the dilution of shares is too high. The EPS is very low. That is the biggest risk factor that I see. But when I do momentum based trading, I am not uh, investing for a very long period of time. I have my set stop losses, right? I keep it for one to three months and I keep start trailing my stop losses. So if I've invested here and the market goes up till here, I start trailing my stop loss around here, right? So very difficult for it to go back to my uh, in initial position that was there. So I usually do swing trading like this. Apart from this, there are so many companies that follow similar patterns, right? Um, another company that I also see that was in the swing uh, position was uh, this one, which was called Abbott. Uh, even this makes similar higher highs and lower lows. As you can see, this is also in an upward channel right now. So every time it hits the lower low, start taking small positions. So I keep a list of all the companies uh, that are there in my swing stocks list and I keep tracking them, right? Because new companies are also formed in this space. So that is basically what I do with respect to the equity market. Now some of my biggest gains and losses right so let me show you some of the biggest gains as you see zomato was my biggest gain uh, i had bought it at 107 sold it at 111 and obviously there's multiple buys and sells here but again the quantity is extremely high as you can see the quantity is also very high then some other companies uh, as i told you jwl and twl these were companies that did really well for me apar industries also did really well for me hbl power venus pipes was another company that i bought for the swing and got out just before the fall uh, because i knew it was slightly overvalued varun beverages has also been very kind now coming to the biggest mistakes i have done right so in this year one big mistake i did i usually see a lot of fundamentals and strategies and upward momentum i also tried investing a lot into sme companies uh, purely because of little bit of fomo i got in the sme space as well so if i show you my biggest loss you will see it in companies like asarfi max india so max india was another company that i'm very bullish on still but then it started falling down so i quickly took a loss asarfi i took almost 10 percent loss on a capital of 37 lakhs here i had invested almost 1.5 crores and all of that right uh, so I took a 3% loss because the investment value was too high. So I will reinvest again. So a lot of small, small companies that I have taken a loss in. Uh, but that was my biggest learning that do not invest too much into SME companies and don't take such a massive bet as well. Uh, start hedging your bets also, right? Now, apart from this, let me show you my f and strategy. So this was the equity strategy. So I hope that is clear, clear for you guys. I will continue doing this. As you see that uh, the swing stocks, as you see, is not a very big high and low. There's a lot of small, 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 small trades that keep happening everywhere. My biggest loss was around 5.3 lakhs here and also another 5 lakhs yesterday I booked or else this is just now 27 March I booked also helps me with tax loss harvesting. So now 5 lakhs is less in my real estate panel. So my tax is low. I will rebuy this once uh, once the market opens again, right? Uh, so this is basically my equity portfolio. If I had to show you my F&O portfolio or F&O trading, 
again as you can see it looks segmented but if i obviously merge the two you will see the whole picture very clearly now fn was also very similar uh, there was one month that i didn't trade i think which was june because i was in us last year as i said uh, but again fn was also something i do here the profit is obviously high but here i take very hedged positions now a couple of learnings here i do swing trading as i told you in equity but when the equity i feel is in a swing for example let's say zomato is going up right and i like it i usually buy futures of the company if it is available okay instead of buying the stock i take little bit of a leverage position and i buy a future of it and if i feel it is a risky position i buy a future of it and then i buy a pe option so if i'm saying that the future will go up i will buy a pe uh, call option i'll buy a put option as well just so that it starts leveraging it so if you see some of the trades here as you can see i'll buy a future and then there would be some pe trades as well below right so this is what i do i buy the future and then i buy a pe if i feel it is risky if i feel it is like zomato then i just keep it there with the stop loss so even if it goes down suddenly it doesn't affect me because my gtt is triggered and i'm completely out of it right so one thing that i should say that swing i'm very good at one thing i'm very bad at is option buying boss definitely terrible at option buying completely uh, because one i don't have the patience and i get very scared when the movements start becoming very big and i lose a lot when i do option buying but what i'm good at is option selling so what i do is i take weekly option selling obviously the uh, capital in this account is also high around 2 crores so then i can obviously take even 1% 2% 3% gain in a week that is great for me i'm not very greedy that way uh, but what i do is i usually go on sensible like this i make a strategy builder and i go to short strangle and i usually take a weekly short strangle now if i cl just click on the weekly short strangle like this you'll see that it is approximately 4.6% return and the entire break even is 1.3 to 1.5 now what happens is i can take obviously a lot of lots let's say uh, 2 crore capital obviously i don't put 2 crore capital in every trade i usually limit it to one because i'm scared i i need it for averaging also uh, so what i do is i limit it to one so let's say that i do 90 okay so let's around 1.23 so i can actually get 5.38 in a week if my prediction is right that nifty falls between 1.3% and 1.5% but i find this also very risky so what i usually do is i keep increasing the ranges okay I keep increasing the ranges even more so that I reduce my percentage from 5% to maybe 3%, right? I'm okay with a very big amount like this, like so this is the entire range. So I'm okay to do something like this, right? Where I take a higher straddle, uh, strangle point, uh, I take a higher strangle here and I'm completely okay with this for the whole week. So even at 3.3%, I don't wait till the end. So the biggest problem with Nifty is Thursday options are very volatile. So I usually buy it on Friday or Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, end tuck, I am out, right? I don't even carry forward to Thursday because I have lost, according to my research, I have lost a lot on Thursday. My chances of losing goes high even though the premium decay is high. But I usually take it this way so that 1-2% I make gain. So I'm okay with that. So if you want to see the verified PNL for the entire year, this is how the verified PNL looks. Uh, FNO is around 80 and uh, equity is around 23. So totally around 80, 90. 96 uh, no 106 is approximately the total gains of this year 107 as you see it here right so that was the entire account now i have taken almost one out of the account i'm coming back with a one crore capital only for this year i don't want to keep so much here because i don't know why i just get scared so i'm coming back with a one uh, capital as well now also there's two schools of thought very quickly i'll address this one is long-term investing tension free which is completely correct you can invest in large cap stocks you invest in nifty 50 and all of that you aim to get 22 25 26 percent return so i'm completely okay with that for me, I have seen that momentum based strategy works right now because the market is also trending in a positive momentum. The minute market stops going into a positive momentum and starts becoming a bearish consolidation zone, I become an option seller instantly. Uh, and when the market starts moving again to an upward position, I become a, a future buyer right equity future buyer because then option selling doesn't work for me so i wait for those periods i wait for consolidation zones like for example even if you look at nifty like this is an upward momentum but last one week i've been doing option selling over here because the market has not moved up i know if the market breaks 22,500, then we are into a new zone but till then we are okay after this i will become an option buyer again so whenever i see there's a pause here i start becoming an option seller for one two three four weeks so that is basically what i do so that's it guys this was the entire episode please put your comments below in the comment section uh, and ask me what doubts you have ask me what type of strategies you can use now obviously as i said in the start of the video do not copy or do not do whatever i am doing my capital is high my risk capital is high if i lose one two lakhs in a in a day i don't feel bad about it right but that is basically because the capital is also so high so my actual risk is very 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 low right but i do not suggest you do this i am still a fundamentally strong long-term uh, guy itself so that is why i look at it i see what is good I buy the future instead of buying the stock and I continuously roll over the futures if I feel it is very good. So that is it. This is me Shashankar signing off. Take care. See you guys. Bye bye.